My name is uh, Daffer and uh, I'm uh, part of the founders of uh, Axe Finance. Axe Finance is actually a software vendor specialized in the credit and risk automation solutions. Uh, we've been in that uh, market and focused in that uh, uh, specific area uh, since inception uh, in 2004 and uh, uh, we are operating across 29 countries. Uh, and. Uh, uh, um, covering our solution is covering the end-to-end -end credit uh, and risk life cycle actually. We are more than uh, 200 people now um, doing only credit so a very focused uh, uh, teams and uh, uh, focused on adding value to our customers uh, uh, across, across our uh, uh, customer uh, base. So uh, we are uh, constantly innovating and reinvesting massively in our uh, solutions. Um, so we believe uh, uh, we are uh, a long-term partner to our customers. In Cybus uh, uh, and before Cybus uh, 2022 and after Cybus 2022, we have been uh, uh, actually uh, uh, developing, implementing, maintaining, supporting one unique credit solution that is called Axe Credit Portal. That is uh, um, uh, what we call future proof, meaning that uh, it uh, doesn't impose anything to our customers, but rather uh, gives them the ability to uh, uh, continuously enhance their credit processes. It is an end-to-end -end credit lifecycle automation, as I was saying. It is multi-segment. So we're covering the retail lending as well as the uh, uh, SME lending, corporate lending, uh, FI, uh, all these microfinance new products. Typically, uh, uh, the trend, one of the trends uh, today is uh, um, uh, the BNPL type of credit. Um, we are uh, offering a very open architecture uh, to our customers so that they can ensure a fantastic omni-channel uh, journey uh, for uh, ACP users actually. Actually there is one uh, trend, major trend, which is uh, uh, uncertainty. Okay, uh, Pandemic, uh, economic turmoil, uh, war, uh, inflation, massive inflation, all this is bringing uncertainty and it has an effect and we are seeing effects on, on the lending space. So uh, we need, I mean, lenders need to make sure that uh, this uh, impacts them uh, at a minimum level. Uh, that's one key factor. Another major trend is the change, and this is an impact of the kind of impact of the pandemic that we are seeing. The customer base, the customer habits, the customer variety is changing. So. Uh, uh, once upon a time, uh, lenders used to uh, uh, grant loans to large corporates with collaterals uh, very safely, uh, to salaried individuals with a guarantee that this uh, individual has a, a nice uh, 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 debt service ratio uh, uh, and capacity to repay. Now it's uh, new entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, startups with no history of credit uh, to whom we need to uh, uh, find lending solutions. So uh, you have new specialized lenders in the market, fintechs, uh, all these are not disturbing but changing the lending space and, uh, and this, uh, uh, the new lend the lenders, uh, the classic historical lenders need definitely to take that into account and provide the appropriate solutions. Uh, with the appropriate flexibility to change uh, in a continuous uh, manner. And obviously, uh, uh, needless to say that the metaverse is coming with its, uh, with its uh, uh, impact on lending. And now we're talking about metaverse loans. Actually, what we, are, uh, what we have been doing for a while is uh, uh, add flexibility. Uh, uh, I mean, the lending space, a loan is a loan, 
However, each and every lender has its own policies, its own uh, habits. In addition to a, a continuous uh, uh, changing market, uh, you need flexible solutions. You need composable solutions. And we believe uh, uh, with our uh, uh, ACP, Axe Credit Portal solution, we are bringing that composable solution through a microservice uh, architecture that is uh, um, uh, a way to offer uh, our customers uh, uh, pick and choose experience rather than a uh, uh, monolithic uh, credit system. Uh, we are coming with uh, 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 a, a lending as a service approach with a fragmented and uh, uh, microservice uh, open API uh, based solution. Uh, that's point number one. Point number two in what we are bringing uh, um, in, to the market is uh, the option to leverage data, big data and AI in the lending space. Uh, actually, the, the data is available, but it is unstructured. Um, and in order to lend to those customers that we were talking about earlier, which are, who are actually uh, with um, weak history, uh, uh, credit history and uh, sometimes no credit history for a startup, for example, you need alternatives uh, and alternative models. And AI is the response to these. Uh, and we are, we are bringing an AI-based uh, lending solution. Last but not least is our uh, capability to change and to continuously amend and improve and enhance your uh, your uh, lending uh, uh, policies and your credit uh, uh, policies through our, uh, what we call the Axe Studio, which is a fantastic uh, suite of administration tools, allowing you as a lender to continuously improve uh, and uh, uh, deploy new policies, new products, uh, push uh, those to the market. Oh, lots, lots of them. <laughs> Uh, one of them is uh, basically, uh, actually we are, we are an innovative company. Uh, it's uh, in our DNA, it's uh, in our habits, in our day-to-day -day, uh, uh, working uh, environment, uh, through ideation committees, through, uh, I mean, innovation is key in Axe Finance, uh, uh, Axe Finance uh, practices and, and work environment. We uh, encourage innovation. We allow errors. Uh, you never innovate without errors. So uh, as long as it is uh, actually, uh, it goes with uh, competence. And we believe that we have the appropriate competence. The main, uh, uh, the main actually uh, innovative approach that we are bringing to the market is what we call and what is called uh, lending 3.0. So we are moving from a not paper-based uh, 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 lending because that was lending 1.0. We are moving from a digitized lending, which is 2.0, to a lending 3.0, leveraging AI, as I was saying, leveraging um, uh, openness and uh, uh, open uh, API, open banking, leveraging open banking and transactional uh, data uh, um, uh, available on the market and bringing new models to assess uh, risk uh, because a loan is a loan, a loan is risk, uh, basically. In terms of uh, presence, uh, we are reinforcing and extending our presence, uh, our regional presence to continue uh, being close to our customers and reinforce our uh, this uh, this close relationship. Uh, um, so uh, 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 we are extending our typically our Bombay uh, office uh, uh, that is uh, covering re the, our uh, regional clients. There we are extending this office. We are extending our UAE uh, office, reinforcing teams there to cover uh, to better serve our uh, customer base in, in, uh, in the GCC. And last but not least is a very fresh new that I give you in, uh, as an avant-première, uh, which is uh, a, a, a signature, new signature that we have just uh, closed, 
with uh, Societe Generale, one of Societe Generale subsidiaries. That was Friday, so I'm uh, proud and happy to announce it here. Uh, it's a new project, new logo for us, uh, and uh, that will be a fantastic project that we will be delivering and huge value that we'll be bringing on the table to our customers.